latest software from FX Home, HitFilm Ultimate, is both an editing and visual effects software package. This is a very professional program that offers an assortment of powerful features, including 3D effects, multi-layered compositing, and procedural fire, as well as access to a library of completely customizable visual effects. It is therefore understandable the system requirements would be rather higher than previous FX Home software titles. Let's take a look at some of those requirements and how to upgrade your computer accordingly. HitFilm requires a processor with a minimum of 1.4 GHz to operate. For more advanced HD and 3D editing, a multi-core processor, such as a dual-core or quad-core model, is recommended. DV Tutorials recommends Core i5, Core i7, and Phenom 6-core processors for serious editors who don't want to experience long rendering times or lag in the software preview modes. In addition, graphics are an extremely important part of the system requirements for this software, and this is the area most users will encounter difficulty with. A video card with at least 512 megabytes of dedicated video memory with the latest drivers installed is an absolute must. The program will not run with anything less than that. Pay close attention to your graphic settings as shown in the diagram. The NVIDIA 9800 GT or Radeon HD 4600 is definitely recommended. For absolute best performance, consider an upgrade to the GeForce 460 or 470 GTX. Integrated graphics cards will not work. As far as hard drives are concerned, at least 300 megabytes is required to install the program, but video files, especially HD ones, will take up gigabytes of space. Rendered files and project files will also take up additional space. I recommend at least a terabyte for any serious editors and at least 250 gigabytes for everyone else. Remember, faster drives are better, so look for 7200 RPM and 10,000 RPM hard drives. Memory, which is also known as RAM, is crucial to using this software and HD previewing requires a great deal of it. A minimum of 2GB is required, but at least 4 will allow for better performance. Those of you with the latest processors will enjoy the boost that DDR3 triple channel RAM will allow, especially for cutting down rendering times. The operating system should be the requirement that offers the least trouble for hit film users. A copy of Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 is required. 64-bit versions allow users to take advantage of additional RAM and the latest processors and graphics cards. Mac users take note. You must run Windows using Boot Camp to use the software. Mac OS is not supported. Other miscellaneous requirements include an internet connection and associated hardware as well as a DVD drive. QuickTime is also required for use of video files in the MOV format. Those of you who experience problems with QuickTime should revert to the 7.5.5 version, which is the most stable. To check which computer components are currently installed on your computer, go to the Start menu, go to Control Panel, click on the System and Security tab, and then click on System. This will load a list of some of the core components, including your operating system, your processor with the processor speed, your installed memory, the type of system, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, and then if you need to update some drivers such as your video card driver, click on Device Manager, go down to Display Adapters, and right click on your card here, and click Update Software. And this will load a dialog box where you can go through some settings to um, update your driver and make sure you have the current uh, software installed. Now also, if you aren't sure which card you have, if you want to make sure it's compliant with the uh, system uh, requirements for HitFilm, Right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution, click on advanced settings, and go under the adapter tab which will list your current video card. For anyone who needs some assistance with upgrading their computer, please check out these tutorials for more help on these specific topics.